Hey, what's going on out there, ladies and gents? How are people doing here? So welcome back to another episode of the Euro 2024 qualifiers. That's right. So uh, let's talk about the uh, games today. So first game we had today for uh, for March 27th was Austria versus Estonia. Estonia, uh, they had a lead over Austria before Austria came back with two goals in the second half to uh, to beat Estonia 2-1. to one. So that was a nice win by uh Nice come from behind victory by Austria. Next up, we have Hungary versus Bulgaria. Hungary, they beat Bulgaria 3-0. And Shobo Shalai, he had a great game for Hungary. And next up, we have Moldova holding the Czech Republic to a draw. So that was absolutely surprising. Moldova was able to hold the Czech Republic to a draw. Despite Czech Republic beating Poland 3-1, Moldova were able to hold them to a draw. And Czech Republic, they couldn't find the back of the net against Moldova. So that's that. Next up, we have Montenegro versus Serbia. Serbia, they defeated Montenegro, their neighbors, 2-0 here. Uh, Dusan Vlahovic, he scored a brace today for Serbia because in this game it looked like it could end in a draw because Serbia they had trouble finding the back of the net uh, up until the 78th minute and then Vlahovic netted another goal to help Serbia get the win and a three points so impressive performance by Serbia I have to say and you know if we're being honest here Dusan Vlahovic he's by far the better striker for the Serbian national team I think than than uh, Mitrovic now you know I love Mitrovic and all that stuff and you know I really wish Serbia would have a um you know if if only Serbia I feel like would have really good talented quality fullbacks then they could easily play a proper 4-4-2 formation with Mitrovic and Vlahovic up front so with uh, with Serbia man I would honestly have to say that uh, Dusan Vlahovic I think he could become something special for the Serbia national team because let's be honest here man uh, Dusan Vlahovic I would honestly have to say I think Serbia should build their team around him because especially whenever they pl play these one uh, one striker formations because obviously a lot of people have been telling me on football Twitter that apparently a big reason why Serbia doesn't um, doesn't play 4-4-2 is because they they don't have any uh, good quality fullback so I guess that explains why they have to play these one man striker formations and all that but uh, whenever they play those formations I guess you could say that Dusan Vlahovic definitely deserves to uh to uh, start those type of games compared to Mitrovic because let's be honest when it comes to who's the best player on the Serbian national team I would honestly have to say Dusan Vlahovic and I would have to say that I feel like he has a lot of great potential to become a future leader for the Serbian national team regardless of what critics say I would honestly have to say that if Cristiano Ronaldo can become a leader for for Portugal on the international level then I will say this I think Dusan Vlahovic can also become a leader for the Serbian for Serbia on the international level kind of like how Cristiano Ronaldo did with Portugal and that would be absolutely crazy if I if we would uh if we would see Dusan Vlahovic also lead Serbia to become a contender in the future kind of like how Ronaldo made Portugal contenders I think Vlahovic can do the same thing with Serbia so yeah that was a really impressive performance by Serbia I was really impressed with a uh, Vlahovic's performance next up Netherlands they defeated Gibraltar 2-0 Memphis Depay scored a goal and Nathan Ake scored a brace today, so a much better performance by uh, by the Oranier compared to their performance against France, where they got absolutely just dismantled against France. So great win for the uh, for the Netherlands. Next up, Poland, Polska. They defeated Albania 1-0 today. So you know, Poland today uh, they were kind of average. I feel like against Albania they struggled a lot, but nonetheless, solid win by uh, by Poland. So that's that. Next up, France. They defeated the Republic of Ireland. Ireland 1-0 and then Sweden they defeated Azerbaijan 5-0 so what a performance today by Sweden they scored five goals on Azerbaijan so let me know what you guys thought about the games today and what was your favorite game let me know in the comment section below and I'll talk to you people in another video take care